Bye. Previously on Living Off Grid with Jake and Nicole. Start the vlog in the beast. Just kidding. Chocolate it's thunder. Ch start the vlog in the thunder. Chocolate thunder. No? Chocolate rain. So weird. Everyone think? in the comments knows what that's all about. Not everybody. Everybody who remembers the origins of YouTube. Before YouTube. Yeah. Jake, and, ooh. I think that was a rock you just went over. Yeah. So there's a lot to do around Blackfish Hollow besides just build a homestead off the grid. This place is eco-adventuring capital. It's oceans and lakes and forests and flora and fauna. So today we're gonna go check out the lake. Yes, so it's about a mile hike in and I mean it is beautiful and it's so hot today. The sun is shining. So we decided to go have a picnic. Mm -hmm. Got all of our goody picnic stuff here. Just made some st simple stuff that I'll show you guys later and uh, go swimming. So I've got my swimsuit on. And I'm ready. So we honestly could walk there because it's just in our backyard, but uh, we're taking the Truck of Thunder to the nice trailhead that the local people who have lived here for generations, they maintain. And it's a beautiful trail that the locals do a great job keeping clear. And it's full of old, uh, British Columbian forest, so it's really a nice walk through the old forest to the, the lake. It's about a mile, wouldn't you say? I would say it takes, uh, I would say more than that. Yeah. I would say it takes about 20 minutes walking yeah. from trailhead to lake.
romantic. You know what this is like, right? I'm gonna bet you're gonna say the notebook. The notebook. Further away than we started. So for lunch, I just made some guacamole, and then we have some melon. What is the melon called? Cassava melon. Oh no, this is a Crenshaw melon. Crenshaw melon. It's so good. Yeah. And then we just have some rice cakes and wheat thins. That's it. <laughs> Nothing too special. The water's great. You should jump in. Maybe later. There is no way this vlog will ever make it on YouTube unless you jump in <laughs> okay. multiple times. We'll see about that. Hey, so super apology to the audience for any kind of wind noise. We forgot our dead cat for the mic, but... Yeah, it's a little windy. Yeah. What were you saying earlier about this lake? It was really cute. This lake is just so off the grid. <laughs> it's so secluded. Um, it's very different from other lakes that I've been to in the past because other lakes are like riddled with people. I mean, tons of people. So it's just really cool that it's just Jake and I here. Like it's literally just Jake and I here. Like we hiked back here and we are now on this dock in the middle of the lake. And you just have views, like 360 degree views all around you, just breathtaking views. Lots of animals we're seeing so far. Yeah, like so there's like this beautiful island right here. And then we were seeing like eagles over here scooping up fish. And we saw a marten get in the water over there. So we're just waiting for a bear to come up somewhere and get some water. Or a cougar to be like. That'd be kind of cool. But drinking some water. As long as it's like over there. And what, not if, over there. what if the bear or the cougar just started swimming toward this dock? I would be like getting the boat and paddle fast. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really cool here. It's really, it's really nice. But for real, I will lose all respect for you if you do not jump in this water. Ah! You have to jump in. Oh, it's so cold though. But there's full sun today. The water's not that cold. It's just the wind. You could do it. I don't know. Maybe. I'll jump in with you. I promise. Well, you better. <laughs> You've already jumped in though. I know. Let's do it together. And if you jump in, you get to have whatever you want later. Oh, okay. All right. I might jump in. Okay. Well, you look great. Thanks for joining me for this uh, lake picnic today. Yeah, thank you. How was that? <laughs> yeah. Not too cold, right? No, not too bad. Bye. Are you ready for notebook round two? <laughs> oh. Whoa. There's a little dock we're on. Bye. This is the only thing taking us to our destination.
brought you some firewood. Oh, why, thank you. You're welcome. It smells like campfire. Yeah. We have a beautiful spread of edible flowers and plants that Jake got for us for dinner tonight from the garden. Question to everybody that is watching this video right now. Can you name all of these plants and edible flowers? We have kale, we have strawberries, salmon berries, we have borage flowers, kale flowers, nasturtium flowers, chamomile, arugula flowers, onions. And we have like three different varieties of mint, chocolate mint, regular mint, spearmint, and this is another type of mint that I actually don't know the name of. There you go. This fire is raging now and it's starting to get warmer here in the yurt and what I'm really excited about is that this is actually a stove cooktop that has room for at least four or five pots so we're cooking up some tea here. We're going to boil some water for noodles and this is a nice yummy eggplant dish that I've got going on. We'll show you guys the finished product here coming up, but all cooking without electricity and without propane with the wood that was outside. Okay, as you can see, we don't have professional lighting yet, but it's coming. And guys, I'm so psyched. Now this eggplant dish is sizzling on top of the wood stove. Something that's gonna give Nicole and I free heat forever that we're also gonna cook on top of. We don't need any electricity. We don't need any power company. We don't need to pay the power bill. We don't need propane. Right here, this is amazing. Look at your station. It's pretty beautiful, huh? What did you call it earlier? For all the deliciousness happens. For all the delicious, is that what I said? I think so. What do you think of the dynamic of our yurt now? I think it's changed completely. Yeah. How does it how does it feel like on your skin now? Warm. <laughs> yeah. Warm and cozy and and then like the color of the yurt is soft. It's like soft, warm, cozy. Uh -huh. It's very nice. It just makes me think of my childhood and I know it makes you think of your childhood. And I was telling Jake today that I grew up always going to my grandparents' house and they lived up in the mountains and they had a wood burning stove. So when we got this, I was like, whoa, I'm really in the mountains. Like I'm really out here. Did you just the associate wood stove with mountains. Yeah. And I, I mean, obviously I knew I was in the mountains, but that really like the smell, it being in your house, the, the look of it, it's just, it's really, it's awesome. And you're also saying how much you like the glass. Yes. And how it's like a television. It looks like a television. People will actually find, I think there's stations of real fires burning. Especially around Christmas time. The process of getting the wood burning stove in here was definitely challenging. It what, took like two weeks, maybe more. Because there was no way to get it in here unless we backed the Chocolate Thunder truck 
yeah. up to the front door of the yurt, and the only way to do that was to clear four acres of road. Yeah, so to have it in here finally and to enjoy it is just really a wonderful moment, and it's just, it's really nice. This tea is boiling on top, and this eggplant was legit cooked on top of this burner. Yeah. Like it was sizzling from the heat of this, and that blows my mind that you can have the ability to cook for free. So. And half of this came from our garden. Yeah. All the flowers and everything as you guys have seen. And so. the lettuce greens and the herbs and yeah. um, Pretty soon it's gonna be 100% from our garden. Um, mm -hmm. but slowly but surely. So we're gonna enjoy our food. Just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and please hit that like button if you like this video. And really, I mean, those of you who have joined our Patreon page have become part of our inner circle, our trusted friends, our patrons, and you guys help to fund our videos. But those of you who just watch here on YouTube, it's totally free for you to watch. So the least that you can do, in my opinion, is please interact. Leave a nice comment down below, maybe a question. Hit the like button. Subscribe, but you also have to hit the bell button and turn on the notifications because there's no longer any like subscription feed or column. There is, but it's very hard to find. Yeah. And for independent creators like Nicole and I, it's very hard to get on the trending page. It's very hard to get the videos to pop up ahead of all the, the big networks and the big money. We edit all these videos ourselves and produce them with our own money and our own time and effort. So the least you guys can do, in my opinion, is please hit the bell button and interact with us in the comments. And if you want to go a step further and become part of our family and inner circle, you can go over to our Patreon page and join. No matter what tier you want to join for, it's right there. The link's down below. I think it's patreon.com slash Yep.